Hey guys, this is Jennifer with the DeVivo team and I am coming to you from my new little studio. I hope you like it. We got some light going on with some market numbers. I have one question for you. Where are the houses? Have you looked? Have you seen? I, I am having a hard time to find out where the houses are. So let's break down the numbers and find out what's going on in the Orlando real estate market. So yes, guys, that is the question. Where are the houses? If you haven't noticed, home inventory, the amount of homes that are on the market has dropped significantly and prices are up. That's right. So by how much you say? Prices have jumped 10% year over year and home inventory is down 11%. It is a huge seller's market right now. And I'm going to say this throughout the video. If you're thinking, or if you want to know, if you want to know what the price of what your home might sell for, not just what the value is, but what it could sell for in a market like this, you've got to give me a call. So yes, I'm going to plug that because I'm definitely looking for homes. Why? We have way more home buyers than there are homes on the market. One of the numbers that totally boggled my mind is 2.3. 2.3 months of inventory on the market right now. It is super low. Textbook seller's market is when you have less than four months of inventory on the market right now. We're sitting at 2.3 guys, and that to me is just amazing, phenomenal. There are incredible opportunities for home sellers in this market. So I know your question is, well, what now is the median price of a home? I always talk about what's the average price of a home. Right now, the median price of a home in the Orlando area market is 237. That's if we take all the houses together and we divide by how many sales. And actually guys, inventory, home inventory is down. We've only got about 7,000 houses on the market. When we had the crash 10 years ago, we had like 20,000 houses on the market. Now we're sitting at about seven with the home, uh, the, the value, the median value of a home being about 237,000. However, for a decent home, for a home that you really want to kind of get started with, two car garage, three bedroom, two bath, 1,600 square feet or so in a nice area, you're really looking at closer to 260 to 280. And what's happening is that we're seeing challenges. So if you're a first time home buyer, this is going to be a challenging market for you. We're seeing the affordability levels go a little bit down, but I have strategies for you first time home buyers. And I also have strategy for you, uh, strategies for you if you're selling your home, how you can really take advantage and leverage this market. So again, I'm really going to emphasize sellers. If you are thinking of selling your home, this is the time we're entering June, July, and August. You know, real estate goes in cycles. I tell everybody all the time, August is when you see the highest price that you're going to get for the sale of your home. People are trying to move. It's the summertime, June, July, and by September, people are putting their kids back into school. So you've got three months. So if you're thinking again about selling your home, please give me a call. I am really looking. I'm desperate. I beg you. I have buyers who need homes and I don't have them. Um, so this is a great time to think about putting your home on the market. Um, the biggest challenge that we're seeing for home sellers is not about price. You have home buyers that are out there that are looking for a great home just like yours and they're trying to pay more. Some of them are definitely willing. We're seeing a lot of multiple offer situations and we're seeing people that are willing to pay more than the home value is. So what we're seeing is the biggest challenge for you home sellers are appraisals. Uh, appraisers are still conservative. They're still making sure that the value of your home today reflects the last 90 days of comparable home sales. But there's something that we call market conditions. And right now we're sitting in a huge market condition with only about two months of inventory supply you have people out there with cash people out there with a little bit of extra that are willing to pay a little bit more than what your historical value or your appraised value or your Zillow value whatever you want to call it is worth and there's ways to leverage that if you've got a great agent we can not only help you get top dollar for your house we can help you get a little bit more now and don't be afraid you know commissions all that kind of stuff we will work it out you're gonna be able to put much more money in your pocket this year than you have in the last decade so reach out to us Okay, for my home buyers, if you're a first time home buyer or you're entering in the market, like I said, it's a tough market out there. There's a lot of homes um, that are going very quickly that are in that one, you know, zero to 250, you know, 200 ish uh, price point. They're just flying off the shelves. There's a few things you can do. 
Uh, number one, you've heard me talk about it, you can build. Uh, there's a lot of great communities coming up. And the number two thing is even with building and even with buying, you're going to have to look a little further out. Uh, there's some really great stuff going on with I-4 and the 429 and a lot of road expansions. And so for my first time home buyers, I am having to place them a little bit further out. Um, places, you've got to start thinking of places like Claremont, places like Orange City, places like Deltona, places like South Kissimmee. These places that you used to think that were far away are really going to be engulfed. So get ahead of the wave get ahead of the influx of people that are coming into Orlando we have so many people coming into Orlando from up north from down south from South America international buyers um, as you might have heard me uh, say before Forbes mentioned that Orlando was going to be one of the top two or three markets for investment and areas like Volusia County and Lakeland, which we are think of sleepy towns, those are some of the fastest growing counties in the country. So you've got to think out of the box. You've got to get out of the box. You've got to go a little further out if you're a first time home buyer and your price point is that entry price point range. For my other buyers who are thinking of moving up and getting something bigger, now is the time. A lot of people are saying, well, are we at the top of the price? Are we at the top of the market, Jennifer? I don't want to buy when the market is at the top. Guys, there are so many amazing projects coming into Orlando, billion dollar projects that are coming into North Orlando, South Orlando, a lot of development coming into Orlando. We are going to see a strong market for the next two to three years. And the economy is doing really, really well. We know interest rates have gone up. The interest rates are a huge indicator of a strong economy. Wall Street is ready to make some money after a decade of kind of having a low, uh, a low housing market. So we're at the top of the cycle, but the cycle is good. And what we've got, we've got some really good um, legislation that has come in for mortgages to continue to keep them conservative, keep them balanced, keep them stable. I don't see any craziness coming up with a bust in uh, the mortgage industry. So for the next two or three years, guys, the Orlando market is going to continue to grow. So if you buy now, you're not buying at the top of the market, especially with home inventory the way that it is, only two months or so of inventory left. We've got a huge deluge of buyers that are gonna to continue to wanna to buy in Orlando for the next couple of years. So get in while the getting is still good. Um, if you think of Orlando in comparison to New York or San Francisco or Denver, with an average median price of 237, maybe 250 or 260 for a great house, like I was saying before, um, Orlando is still a great buy, which is why so many people from other uh, other countries and other cities are coming in to take advantage of these prices. It's not going to stay like that forever. The mouse is out of the bag. People want to come, and people want to live in Orlando. So don't hesitate. Okay give me a call. There are still deals out there. There's new construction. Um, one thing that we do for all of our new construction buyers is we give you a wonderful 15% rebate that can help you with your down payment, that can help you with your closing costs. And my services are free to you as a buyer's agent. You don't, I don't cost anything to you. So again, just reach out to us guys. This is a lot of information. As I said before, the market is changing. The market is shifting we're seeing a whole different type of Orlando market. And I wanna make sure that you're ready for it, that you have the foresight to see what is coming. Again, this is Jennifer with the DeVivo Real Estate team, keeping you informed today. I know I gave you a lot of information. This is a little bit longer of a video than I normally do, but don't be afraid. Reach out to me, pick up the phone. You can call me, you can text me. My number is 407-921-1310. And you can also email me. My email will be at the bottom of the screen or you can visit me on my website. I'm doing some changes to my website, guys. So just, you know, hang in there. Uh, call me or text me. I always tell people texting is the fastest and then uh, you can send me an email or give me a call. I'm happy to talk with you. I'm happy to share my advice with you. If you're thinking about doing something now or in six years or in six months or a couple of years down the road, again, I'm here to give you good advice, good counsel, and I'm here to help you Find your way home.